Let's see if I already have some people here. So let's do this. Hello YouTube, my name is Ricardo Lino and I'm a will addict. I just got a couple of boxes, but before I open that live with you guys, I want to show you what I've been up to. So let me just try to do something here. Let's see if that works. This was a test. I, again, I, I never know if this is going to work or not. So I'm trying to have sound in the back. I'm trying to put things playing, but that doesn't really matter. I'm going to try to interact with most of you guys, please. I know that I got a lot of people already watching this. Not like a lot, but I got James Gary, I got Scooter Wisdom, I got Scorpio, I got James, again, I got Blading on the Brain. What's up? <laughs> if you guys don't know who Blading on the Brain is, go watch one of my last videos with Canon Scott. He's Blading on the Brain. Lucas Boy 77, uh, Tira Rise, uh, Darren, Ink Setter, Bartolome, Abi, sorry, man. I, I, sorry if I'm telling you guys that I'm wrong. Yeah, I got Steve Ward, one of my one of the guys that is actually members of this channel. I got all fear. Yes, I got two members of this channel. Rodrigo San Martin, Fabian, Fabian Fernandez, and I got Sahil Gupta. Yo, Alexander, hey, it's growing. What's up, Nick? What's up, Alexander? How are you doing? I'm good. And I got Mo, the real Mo Fisher. <laughs> You see, like Mo, everyone is always asking me about Mo. Now it's your opportunity to speak with Mo. We should actually do something here. I think I might be able to go live with Mo. I am not sure, but I might be able to go live with Mo. Mo, I might be able to send you a link and then we probably can go live, but I'm scared that the sound might not be the best. So bear with me. I'll see what I can do. Meanwhile... Let's go to all the boxes. This one just got in. It wasn't even part of the stuff that I was going to show you. I will still show you, but it's not really a skate product. Let, let me start with that. It's not a skate product. All the other ones are somehow skate product, skate related. So we need more Mo. Yeah, we, I know what you guys mean. Mo, Mo, everyone needs you, man. <laughs> I'm going to try to go live with Mo. I think I have a way to do this. I am not 200% sure, but we can try. Anyway, so this box just came in. I've been wanting to order this for a while. It's basically, Mo knows this because since South Africa, I've been wanting to try to get something like this. This is not a skate product, but it's going to be a way to make my videos a bit better. This is the, what, it was the light that was voted the best light of the year. It's an RGB light and it's a very, very tiny light. Check this out. I don't even know how this works. So I know that it's supposed to be a very, very strong light. And I also know that you are supposed to be able to do quite a lot of stuff, but I really don't know how this works. So I would like to, to, to know. It's only on 50%. I will learn a bit more about it and tell you guys. But the thing is, this thing can actually give me a lot of light. So I'm just going to put it here. It's going to illuminate the scene. <laughs> so it's the Aperture MC, but this is not what you guys are looking for. So this is not even a, a skate product. So 
all good. Let me know how this is sounding like. Let me know if the sound is okay with me talking. If there's the, if the music, it's too loud, please. Yeah, let me know. Then the second product, well, do you see something there? That's a helmet, right? That helmet, that helmet was mine. ProTech gave it to me, so as they give, so as they also gave me two other helmets. That's a silver one, and ProTech also gave me a white one that was used for, for a video that was used for my introduction to to micro this retro helmet from from protec and then they also gave me the black one that i'm using the whole time but i always feel like that helmet is somehow it's wide enough but it's a little bit too too short i don't know if this makes sense to you guys but i don't know if it's pretty normal that all the heads are like of the exact same shape or not it kind of feels like my head is a little bit not as round but maybe more longer i don't know maybe it's all the smartness is <laughs> all the smart um, part of my brain is here. I have no idea. I'm just obviously joking. But the truth is, the helmet fits me, but it always feels a bit short. So I got in contact with a couple of helmet brands. I would like to review a couple of helmets and I would like to compare them, but I would want them all to have the same look because I know there's a lot of helmets which they call the full helmet, the one that protects your ears. It's not that I, got, I feel like I need to protect my ears, but I like the look of it. And if you're going to be using something that it's so awkward for a lot of people, including sometimes for myself, I like to do something that I feel good about and I like the look of those helmets. So I contacted a couple of brands. So if some of them are watching this, well, if your helmet is not here, it's because it didn't answer my messages. There was a couple. There was TSG, there was Bell, uh, there was POC. None of these answer any of my emails. So if you feel like supporting these brands, go ahead and do. They don't look like they're very interested in supporting inline skating. I like the ProTech one, but this brand that I'm going to open the helmet right now, which is not a ProTech, these guys, yes, they are not an inline skating brand, but they've been supporting a lot of people in a lot of the wheeled sport industries, including scooter guys, skateboarding guys, roller skating girls and some guys. I don't know if they're supporting anyone in the inland skating scene, but well, they replied to me really fast. And I hope this is the helmet, huh? Yeah. <laughs> And they sent me this. So, boom. S1. This one, this is the... Wait. Before I show you the helmet, let me just tell you that the helmets come with extra foam pieces, or I don't know if they come with, but at least they sent me two extra foam inserts. And then... I really like the look of it. I don't know if it fits me or not. It's gonna be my first time putting it on. Boom. And this this thing feels great. <sighs> Dude, can it? I know you're watching this. This feels really, really good. I'm gonna be honest with you, I would prefer maybe if it was matte instead of shiny, like glossy. But I can see myself using this for a good amount of time. It does feel very, very comfortable. It does feel a lot longer than the other one that I was using. I'm not going to say it's better or not than the ProTech. I didn't use it enough. It has a different shape. Now, looking at it right away, I like the foams on the Protect better than these because they have sealed edges. But let's see if these ones last. So, can't really give you an opinion on anything else other than the looks. And the looks of the helmet is on point. I love it. So, it's called the Pro. The, it's called the S1 Retro Lifer. I think that's it. That's a Retro Lifer glossy red. So. Yeah, Miguel Juarez is saying that it's muy guapo. Este está guapo, este casco. Okay, it's, it looks very good. The helmet, I love, I love the look of it. So thank you so much, S1. 
to start with, just for for answering my emails, even if you work with the brand, I don't expect every brand to want to be related with this, but at least answering the emails make a bit of a difference, okay? Yes, blading on the brand is asking if it's a certified helmet. It is, it's a styrofoam, I think that's what it is. Let's check the material here. It says styrofoam, then it has the, you have, you, yeah, it's, it says CPSC certified. It's the Lifer Retro Helmet. And there's a lot of stuff about these helmets on, on YouTube, including a video that some scooter guys did where they, they looked, I could actually try to find out uh, that video and try to show it for you guys. Let me see if I can find out. Meanwhile, while I'm looking for that, let's see. I don't. I'm not going to post to put it with sound because I don't want to to have any problems with the um, with the copyrights. But and I don't have a lot of of battery on my iPad. But let me see. So it would be S1 helmet versus and. I'm sure that's the one video that I saw. It's these skateboarding guys, these scooter guys. They, yeah, that's it. Just gonna show you the image so that you guys can see what I'm talking about here. There's no sound, but you can see the image. <laughs> I'm gonna choose this one right here. And now I'm gonna go Perfect. ahead with this video and I'm gonna show you Not a little your bit head. more. We have a helmet I'm like this. All the energy can go right through the helmet and just with sound. I don't want you guys to see it with sound. I'm sorry about that. So just check this out. What happened to these helmets? They were jumping. Obviously, they were doing stuff that you're not supposed to do to the helmets. So, but at least you can see it. You see what happens with a regular helmet? Man, come on. Okay, let's see. So they're doing something here that it's obviously not what you would do with your helmets, but... Yeah, it's a bit of a, sorry guys, I'm just trying to get something here, but it's not happy with me. This is not really, I, I don't know where it really is. So I'm trying to find it out, but <laughs> this guy made a funny video, check that. That's the S1 helmet. Now check what happened to the other helmet. <laughs> I think they're going to do it with the other one. Check what happened with one and with the other. Basically, I'm not trying to sell you anything. This is just something that is known when a helmet has that styrofoam thing on the inside, it keeps the structure. But also, if you had a very hard fall, they always tell you to, to change the helmet because you never know when it's damaged or not. But I will make a specific video about that helmet, but that's not... Yet, that's not the thing yet. Now, let me see what other messages I got here. I wanna to try to answer as many as I can. Whoa, I got Luis Munoz. Luis Di Munoz is this guy from Costa Rica. He's been doing classes with me. We actually had our first, first class like done like with me on one side on the phone and he was in Costa Rica. We were both chatting like I was doing exercises for him to do and it went really 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 well I'm very happy he went from struggling to just carve from one side to the other to in the end doing power slides and like carving very good forward and backwards I'm very happy Luis you did amazing so I'm, I'm excited for the next one okay uh, if you want to get into the same thing as Luis is having, I only have two more spots. This is the membership, the, the final, like the higher tier of the membership. And basically when you become a member, you get, there's three different tiers. The first one is, it costs you $1 or one euro per month. And it's basically just, you get that little logo that shows here. You get a little discount on the on the merch from next week i will have something new for you but i don't have it yet but i will also have some discounts for you and if you get the second tier that costs you five dollars you get up to 40 percent discount on the you get up to 40 percent discount on the merch and you get other stuff you can actually see what's happening and then you have the final tier that it's actually a lot more, but we spend a lot more time together chatting, WhatsApping, video calls and all that stuff. It's a different tier. I don't have space for a lot of people. <laughs> Luis is saying that he has his, his homework ready because I asked him to do a long 
two minute long power slide. So I'm excited to see the video. We, we shared quite a lot. But now I'm gonna go ahead from that and I'm gonna, you guys are still listening to sound, right? Am I? Okay, there's still sound. Hello, Timothy, how are you doing, man? There's a lot of people watching this, is it? I don't really know how many people we, we have watching this. Sorry, guys. Let me try to see. We got 70 people watching. That's awesome. Now, what I do want to show you is what's inside this. And yes, I did open this package. This package came, as you can see, the cheeky hole here. Anyway, I don't think you guys are going to take it too bad, right? Let me show you what it really is. Let me show you what re what it really is. So you guys are gonna be able to see it right now. This is what we're talking about. This is Janice, and this is what we just got last week. It's the Will Attic masks. You can actually see the the heart. <laughs> that we have on it. I don't know if we can call it hard. And you can see me there with a couple of different ones. It's actually the same, but just a... And let's see. A couple more. That's the t-shirt that I got last, last week. This was all shot last week when I got the... Um, yeah. Someone is asking for the brand. Well, Will Addict. Will Addict.shop is coming soon. And here I am. <laughs> this is the mask. They were handmade in Portugal. And it's something that is needed. We all know. I'm not going to tell you. In fact, the truth is, let's not lie to no one. When I did this, I was looking for sports masks because if you don't know, Portugal is one of the main, it's one of the biggest powers when it comes to textile manufacturing. So I started looking for, I started looking for, for some masks done in Portugal. And because it's, man, we skate. And I thought like, if the mask is going to be such an important thing, let me try to get a, a mask that allows me to skate with and with a cool art that I like with and it's going to identify the skaters and that's what we try to do here. So the first goal was to do something that would allow us to skate with but after what happened last week, I think you guys saw it, what happened with the two kids dying in China by by doing sports, like a sports lesson, a sports class with the masks. I wouldn't really say for you to to go on the limits with that, but it's cool even if you if you want to show your friends that you skate or if you want to if you want to go out like if you go through like any public transportation you use it even if you go with skates but not pushing but if you go through crowds you can use it so I like it at least I do I don't know if you guys are gonna like it or not it's not gonna be very very expensive and Luis please send me the send me the Send me your address. I'm about to ship you one. I'm, I'm going to ship a couple of them Monday. They will be selling on the website willedic.shop from Wednesday. But meanwhile, that is it. Now, let's go to the next one. If you like it, well, <laughs> if you like it, this one, you're going to like the other ones too. So, again, I'm, I'm about to show you. I'm going to keep that for last. This one... For a couple of people, we're about to talk about a brand that some people try to start a little bit of a controversy about it. But I actually think they are doing an amazing job. I haven't opened it yet, and I got it like a couple of days ago too, but I wanted to make this video, so I wanted to really open everything at the same time and at least make this live stream a little bit more interesting. So, if you remember, a couple of months ago, I did this video that I was all dressed up like if I was in the 90s, I bought a pair of skates that... Um, seemed a lot like the skates that they used in the early 90s. That brand has been doing an amazing job, in my opinion, to promote skating. 
To start with, they're not the usual skate brand that only sells in skate shops. They sell in surf shops and a lot of different places. That brand is related to skateboarding because they are owned by Globe Skateboarding. But the truth is, they have the connections. They bring skating to different type of people, and I love that. But when they made that skate, the wheels on the skate weren't the best. They weren't fast enough. Even Brandon from New Zealand made a review where he said the skates weren't the fastest. And when I made my review, I said the wheels didn't last the longest. They made a new pair of skates. They told me they had better wheels on it, and they wanted me to test it. It looked like they were pretty confident about what they did to the skates, and these are the skates. The Impala, well, let me see the name, I don't want to say anything wrong. The Impala Light Speed Skate, that is it. They made, they said that the wheels are a bit different. I have no idea. The skate is pretty similar to me. I really like the looks of it. Huh? It's very, very retro. If you remember the company called Veriflex or California Pro, or even some of the first rollerblades, of course, the, the rollerblade lightnings, these were common colorways back then, late 80s, early 90s, somewhere around that. So I really like the looks of it. I really don't know if it's going to be, when I made my last video, I said it's not really a high performance skate, but it's like one of those skates very cool for like a certain type of lifestyle or even for like a third, like beginner skate. If you're like into very high performance skating, if you're trying to do a marathon or if you're going to try to look for a skate for tricks, like in a skate park, this is not the skate for that. But if you're, into, if you're into going out to skate with your friends, it's probably it. It's, I don't know. I need to test it. I need to see if it's different from the other one. On the last one, the wheels were rockable, which it's still easier. So for the looks, well, I'll give it like close to a 10 out of 10. I really love the look of it. So that is it. And then the last box. The last box, it's close to this. What I mean by it's close to this is, yes, Will Addict Shop will also be, will also give it the opportunity to get when it's coming there. But it's also close to that because I already made a cheeky opening of that box. <laughs> Check this. You see the red tape? This box didn't come with the red tape. But it's not my first pair of skates like this. I had other skates like this, and I actually have them here already customized the way that I'm going to skate them. So, my daughter right now would say that she's invisible because you can see her. <laughs> Boom. Micro skates. And here, this is a pair of customized micro skates that I don't want you to see it yet until I take it out. So, this is my brand new pair of Micro MT Plus. Boom. Wait, let me stop. What's up, Jill? Now I know how to say your name. Jill is another one of my members. And last week, while we did the live stream, he became a member and I didn't know how to say his name. So now I know. What's up, Jill? How are you doing? <laughs> so, these skates usually come stock with oh, oh oh dude you guys have no idea about the mess that i created here mo might be laughing on the other side because he knows me he knows every time i make one of these videos there's a lot of stuff that you don't see on the frame but <laughs> mo come on don't say anything uh Usually it comes with this frame, which is a CNC'd 243 millimeter frame, almost like that. And it comes with blue wheels. It comes on some, with something. This cage, usually the MT Plus comes with something like that. Also, it does come with this liner. Boom. Oh, see? The frame was inside the liner. It comes with this liner, which is actually a good liner. Let's, let's not forget that we're talking about a pair of skates that costs on the low 100s. It's going to cost you on the low 100s. So, <laughs> I 
I did change for a couple of things. I did change a couple of things. And just the liner actually, if you would buy the liner itself, would cost more of this than the state. This is a pair of this is a pair of dem liners, the dem, you know, intuition liners, the intuition dem liners, the one that come on the intuition new ones. But I love the blue, the different shades of blue. And this is the 80 millimeters, 80, 84. And you can also use it as a tri skate 100 from Endless. Uh, the wheels, well, the wheels that come on those skates are basically the same as this. It's the, the micro high performance wheels. But I just wanted to do something different. And I like the matte black wheel with the blue accents that go with the boot and that. So I really, really love the looks of it. And now let me show you something else, which is similar to that, which is Genesis skate, but it's going to give me problems. I really believe that it's going to give me problems. And I will tell you why in a second. Okay. So Janice was skating the red MT plus boot, which is the same as I just showed you in blue. And that, and she was skating with the same frame. I, I mounted my endless 80 millimeters frame on her skates and she was skating with the red wheels and it was looking very good. But I wanted to try the 80s on that boot and I wanted her to try a longer frame for this review that I'm doing of the endless that I'm trying all of them. And I would also like to have Janice trying the different skates so that she can share her opinions too, because I believe it's important from the beginner's perspective. So I put together a pair of these for Janice. This is a, a, the 90s Endless with some, these are some Roses wheels, some cheap Roses wheels that come on, on a Roses fitness case, but nothing like an amazing wheel, but it should be good enough. And now the problem that I see here, knowing my wife the way that I do, this is where I see the problem. See, I guess you guys understand what I'm talking about. She already stole the silver one that you see in the back from me. And I see that happening again. <laughs> now, I spoke already a bit about the products. I would still love to find out how this thing changes the color, which I really don't know. And I feel I, I'm usually not too bad with gear, but I'm just feeling a bit stupid right now. Anyway, that doesn't matter. Let's just start answering questions. <laughs> Let's see what I got here. <laughs> Jenny says a new red helmet, says Mo. Yes, I knew it. Okay, so yeah, let me see. Let me just go through my members to see if any of them said anything. And then I'm going to go through everyone else. I hope you guys understand. Okay, I'm going to start here. Rodrigo and Martis say tri skates. Yes, they are tri skates, but they are a different type of tri skates, which goes against what I used to say that I used to love it. But man, time is just proving me not that I was wrong, but that I like something this way. Basically, these wouldn't allow you to use such high wheels and not such a short wheel base, which is exactly the opposite from what I used to say that I used to love about the tri skates. I used to say that I used to love being higher because being higher would allow me to bend more without the boot touching which I still like that feeling, but at the same time being lower, I also like the stability. And I also used to like a short wheel base because it would allow me to spin or to turn very easily. These ones, if you use them as tri skates, it's the total opposite. The wheels have a huge space in between them and it's not as big. But I've been learning to enjoy using a tri skate more for speed, more for the roll than actually for tricking. Because when I want to trick, I actually been preferring the four wheels. And the reason for that is because when you use something like this with a slight rockering, you never have the four wheels on the ground. Usually it's either these two wheels or these two wheels or these two wheels. But the rockering, it's so slight. It's such a minimal thing that at every little thing that you do, the next two wheels touch and you feel stability. Basically, imagine if you're going to roll with the middle two, at every slight movement, the wheels, the front and the backs would touch. But if you need to stay on the front two or on the back two to do those swivels things, they will allow you to. So that's why I've been enjoying them so much as four wheels and also as three wheels for the speeds. Now, let me be 200% honest with you guys. I haven't really skated the endless frames as three wheel frames yet. 
I will for the review, but I'm talking from my experience with other long three wheel frames. Okay. It's not that I don't want to skate these with three wheels, but I've been loving them so much with fours that I didn't even felt the necessity to go three. And that is basically it. Now, this was the answer to answer the question tri skates. Now, four wheel urban, yeah, I've been loving. That's basically it. I'm ordering some endless next week. Darren, where are you staying? Please let me know. Ciao, Lino. You're living, blading on the brain. My love, Lino. Cheers, man. I hope to speak to you soon. <laughs> I want to try trick skating. Looks fun. You mean skating with the four wheels, three wheels, just through the city? I I'm sure you're going to be very good. You have a lot of control, Kenneth. Uh, 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 four times 90? Yes. Uh, spooky boots. Genesis skates, the, the blue skate, no, the red skates that I just showed, they are right now with 490s. I've been loving the 490s, but on the blue ones, they are actually four times 80s or 84s. I don't have 84s, so I've been skating 80s, but if you want to see the space in between, it's not a huge difference. There's a little bit of space, obviously, to go 84s, but I don't have any 84s at the moment. The 90s would be, as I just showed before, these. If you want to see the difference between the 80s and the 90s, there would be something like this. Both the same skate, different sizes. One is the 80s, the other one is the 90s. Okay. Now, let's see. I'm in Toronto. Okay. Man, contact me. Let me see what I can do for you. <laughs> Uh, I can't wait for endless 100s to come. When are you getting them, Luke? They sh I think they're, I'm not sure. I think there's only a few in stock of the, uh, only a few in stock of the 100s. The 90s are gone, but I think they were pre-ordered a couple of days ago. So they should be back in stock soon. Gotta go, Luis, cheers. Speak to you soon. Send me the clips. I want to see the homework, man, please. Okay, Bartolome, I'm sorry if I'm saying the name wrong. What wheels do you recommend 80 millimeters for city skating? There's a lot, man. I, I guess it will depend a, a little bit on what you're going to want to do with the wheels and how much you're willing to pay. Because usually wheels like undercover and, and rollerblade hydrogen wheels, they're actually very, very good, but they're a bit expensive. And then you're going to be able to find wheels for cheaper, like almost the the same price that you would pay for a set of undercovers, you can find some good wheels. I know these micro uh, performance wheels, they go for 25 for a pack of four. I'm going to sell them on the wheeladdict.shop from next week. Uh, you have like the Seba, which is now FR Street Invaders. You, I'm going to have also the light wheels, the, the, the micro flash wheels for for 20 bucks and there's a lot of different wheels that are actually very good and not very expensive but for the best roll i would say maybe go undercover if you have that amount of money which would be about 80 dollars or 80 euros for a double set then you're good how are you lino i'm good what's up sergey you good okay uh john kane <laughs> you rock lino thanks john i really appreciate it rockering recommend do you recommend do you recommend rockering rodrigo have you tried it if so which frames have you tried it going to buy flying eagles falcon f6s eric everyone that i know that bought flying eagles they love them i did add a pair of flying eagles enkidu and i like them a lot i wish the sole frame the sole plate that comes on that skate would fit Differently on other skates, but they look and fit amazing on those in kilo skates. So what I always say whenever anyone asks me about the Flying Eagle skates, I always tell them, just look at what E3 is doing. He's been skating them, he's super happy with them, and they've been treating him right. So I like Flying Eagle, I like what they've been doing with B3, and I love watching B3 skating them. So I want those in kilos, man. They're good, Gills, they're good. Um, have you skated cat's bearings? Bill Stopper really likes them. I would actually like to skate the cat's bearings. I was looking at some of their bearings. I spoke with European Distribution, which is EO Skates, and we were talking about me testing some uh, bearings that cost around 800 euros. But I don't want to. I don't want to own anything like that because I'm not going to take advantage of it. I would like to test them, but I would actually test them and send them back because it's not really something that even going downhill, 
I think it's a bit too much for my level of skating. And yes, I don't consider myself a bad skater. I'm a, I'm a good skater, but I'm not going to take advantage of it. I'm not fighting for the the millesimo of the second or whatever you want to call it. But I'm not going to compete or anything that I need that amount of bearing and that type of price of bearing. But from what I know, if you want to know anything about cats bearings, what's different about these guys is that they're not fighting for saying that it's a Swiss bearing, even if it's made in somewhere other part in the world. They're not a Chinese manufacturer, um, just like most of the bearings are, and there's nothing wrong with that, but there's not a Chinese manufacturer uh, branded with something else from any other part of the world. This is a 100% Indian brand. It's a brand from India. Cats Bearings, it's a brand from India. And they are crazy on the type of materials that they use on their bearings. I know that some of their bearings that 800 or 799 euros, they are... <laughs> Mo is telling me that it would go so fast. I was actually speaking with Mo about these bearings. So I will get back in a second. But I know that these very expensive bearings, they use some type of metal that you can only find somewhere in Germany. I don't really know how to explain too much about it, but I will maybe know a bit more when it comes to doing that. Now, Mo was telling me today that he really wants to go those bearings, and I was just telling him, the bearings must be so fast that when you do a plow stop, you can actually, you actually start going backwards. That's how fast they are. <laughs> they better do that. What's up, Caio? Caio Bessa. Você está bem? Como está? Tudo bem? E which brand is that from India? It's called Cat's Bearings, Arsh. It's called Cat's Bearings. Uh, we, we should actually try to go. Let me see. I have 2% on my iPad. So I can try to go with you guys and check the website. Let's see if we can check the website. Do, 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 do. Let's see. Cats bearings. Okay, guys. We are looking for cats bearings. I think you guys are with me here right now. Doom, doom. My internet is not the fastest today, so see you can see me there, right? Would the endless frame work well with the micro bit skate? Yes, Kevin, it will work amazing. I've been skating the beat skate. Let me just interrupt and get back here. I've been skating the beat skates with a 90 millimeters frame. It was the adapt the it's not the adapt, it's the symmetrics frame and i have nothing wrong to say about that frame the symmetrics frame is amazing and it's very very similar to what you get on the endless but on the endless i like that slight rockering thing and the possibility to go three wheels even if i haven't been going with the three wheels but with the beats you will be amazed with what you can do with those endless frames you're gonna like them so let's get back to that this is the bearings. Now, the products that we were talking about, here I am on the corner. Let me, I only have 1% on my iPad, so if this dies, don't get me wrong. Okay. Okay, these are the bearings and the very expensive ones. I don't know which ones are, probably the cheetahs. Look, they got Bill Stoppard. Bill Stoppard seems to be one of the ambassadors. Let me see. Is Bill Stoppard one of the ambassadors? because they are using his videos here, but then there's no videos here. Oops, it's not happening, I'm sorry. Maybe what you can do is look for cat's bearings. Sorry guys, the iPad battery just died. So maybe just go look for cat's bearings. Yeah, someone is saying the cheetahs. The cheetahs is the very expensive ones. Uh, the leopards and jaguars are the ones that Bill Stoppard uses. Okay, I don't know if he's an ambassador for the brand or not. I might have news about Bill soon. I love Bill skating. I love Bill attitude towards skating. And so I'm very excited for what's about to come out soon, but that's not yet. Now, let me see other questions. Uh, 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 I'm going <laughs> one time 300 or three times 100. I think you're talking about three times 100, Darren. <laughs> one time 300, that would be the uni skate. That would be awesome. <laughs> I would still like to go monoskate like uni instead of tri skate just a one wheel uh why buying because of exactly why i'm buying because of b3 eric 
man, be free is the man, Refrain is, be free is doing it right. There's not a lot of people, I don't even know if there's anyone else in the world who's been skating for over 1,000 days straight. Be free, just look for be free blading if you don't know about be free. I'm pretty sure you know, because he's been, he's been in a lot of places, including the, the Braille skateboarding uh, channel a couple of times. He has his own active, very active YouTube channel. He's very, very active with his Instagram. Like I said, he's been skating for over 1,000 days. So, be free is the man. So, what else do we got here? Maybe you can get the cheaper cat's bearings on willaddict.shop. Maybe that would be a good one. Maybe even the expensive ones. That would be a good deal. I can sell them for the price they cost because <laughs> I'm not really going to skate them. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Uh, 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 uh. Hey, Jill, can I ask you just to show, just to show off the the emojis that you have access? Come on, just show off a little bit. Uh, uh, uh. What else? Let, I'm trying to uh, three times 100, 231 tri skate, and I love it. Look, please let me know the size of your foot, and also, of course, <laughs> Jill just showed up. Just uh, let me know the size of your foot so that I can have an idea of what type of skate you're talking about because it actually makes a huge difference how tall you are the size of your foot three times 100 231 it's going to be amazing for a lot of styles of skating especially if you want to be very maneuverable if you are not too tall if you want to do a lot of toe rolls heel rolls because you have the edges close to the center of your body the center of your foot but of course if they are if you are very tall, then 231, it's gonna feel very awkward. UK9, that's a, yeah. So you have a Tao skate. I, I would say that I believe that you're more into a certain type of skating, more like to very quick turns, more like into, I wouldn't say slalom, but maybe even slalom, because the Tao, it's a, a skate made specifically for slalom with that frame, so. The USD Sway emoji. No, 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 it's not the Sway. It's the USD7. It's the USD7, just as they came last year. Yeah. If you look at the USD7 2019, they are those exact skate as the emoji is. <laughs> okay, look, um, did you skate fours before? What's the biggest difference between three and fours? He's asking, look, I can ask, also answer that. It's usually... What other brand, what most other brands do is they use the three wheels as a way to use bigger wheels. And they tr most of the brands make them as short as they can. So tri skates are known for being taller and shorter. And the main marketing behind it, it's because it's bigger, it's going to rotate smoother through everything. And the middle wheel works as a pivot point, which I used to be the biggest fan of. And I still love them. But slowly I started skating more and more with four wheels and I actually enjoy them more because the four wheels, I somehow feel it a bit smoother because of having three points. Instead of having three points of contact, I have four. And those fours of point, four points of contact, they're all getting a little bit of the vibration. So it's spread it a little bit more through all the skate. And if you skate five wheels, you're gonna feel it even more. So when you skate five wheels on a downhill frame, it just feels super, super smooth. And at the same time, when you wanna slide, you have extra grip. And the grip is one of the things that made me enjoy the four wheels more than three and the five wheels more than four. Because when you go really fast, and if you wanna go a parallel slide, if you're on five wheels, you can actually lean without being scared of your feet slide out. But when you only have three points of contact, it's a lot easier that your foot slide out and you fall. It's usually not a very bad fall. If you, if you slide out, it would be a lot more dangerous if you get stuck. So I would say a three wheel would be a very good uh, way to start sliding. And then you can progress to slide with four and progress with five. But if you're going to be sliding with four lower, being lower can also make it easier than being super tall. So there's a little bit of a, I don't know how to say it, but both of them can work. Ruben Duarte, come on, guys. A big shout out to Ruben. Ruben is the guy that, I don't know why he paid me, man. Thank you so much, Ruben. Ruben is the guy that, 
He made the website for linuskechop.com. He's making the website right now for... Um, He's making the website for the Will Addict Dot Shop. He's a very, very good friend of mine for a while. And he just gave me two bucks. Come on. Thank you so much, Ruben. And Ruben also got a pair of skates last week. Uh, I sent him a pair of my fifth elements. If you want to know who Ruben is, go watch one of my videos when we compared the the Rosie's M12. That was the the the... Sesame, the sesame ones, the team sesame with the red fifth elements. I got the, the same, both skates the same day and we both went out and tested the skates at the same time. So that is Ruben, if you want to know who Ruben is. Thank you, man. <laughs> fifth element, perfect. Uh, started sliding on a tri skate and I can slide 15, 20 feet. Yeah, man, Michael, it's amazing. I used to, and I still love them. I, I love to, to skate on three wheel skates and I don't go against what I said. I don't think, I don't say that it's bad, but I've been learning how to take more advantage of having more wheels and being a bit lower. I'm not going to say that being with 10 <laughs> very small wheels is going to be better probably would i don't know it's all these things need to be tested with time i've been adjusting my skating to a certain type of thing and i'm actually been enjoying it more so that is it uh would you make a video with sean <laughs> arsh i've been talking to sean I, I, me and sean yeah i know sean shop desk i love sean skating and i love what he did because sean i wouldn't say he was all over the place like i am but sean used to on his channel he used to do a lot more different things and i love how he found his niche and his way of skating and what people love to see him do and he, he, he kept doing it and his channel is growing so much and i love sean skating i love what he's doing i love what shop desk is doing so I really love what they're doing. I've been talking with Sean a bit. I would like to do something with him. I would also obviously love to skate with him in Canada. He would also love to come to Portugal and skate with me. So we've been in the talks. So that's all I can tell you. There's not a lot more that I can say. Like the whole virus situation, it's actually not allowing anyone to plan anything, I believe. Uh, hey, Ricardo, you mastered all wheels, quads, inline, three wheels, fours. Come on. I didn't master anything. I just, I really enjoy doing all of this. And I go through phases. I, a lot of people say, oh, you can skate everything. I do skate a lot of these things, but I don't skate all of them at the same time. I go through phases. Now, that would actually be a good video if I could do tricks with all of them in the same day. That, that would be very challenging. Because when I put a pair of skates which is different from the day before. I still have a little bit of time to adjust. Now, putting all the skates in the same session and try to do all of it, that would be hard. And then to make it even harder, I would get on a bike and do a bar spin on the bike. That would be the final <laughs> challenge. That would be the real challenge. Uh, come on, Jill. I don't know what you're saying. You're talking in... Dude, is that Africans or... Bel what is that? It looks like Africans. Uh, more skate flow videos, James. I agree with you. I love the skate flow videos. But at the moment, I skate a lot of times alone. And I, I love this, those alone flow videos. But at the same time, my Insta360 camera is not as good at the moment. It has, it has all these scratches. The GoPro camera, after filming with the Insta360, that you can see everything and shoes, doesn't feel the same. I have another 360 camera from GoPro, but that 360 camera from GoPro, the files are so heavy that it takes me forever to edit. And I need to say it, the guys from Insta360 don't answer my messages, so I don't know what to do with the camera. It would be cool if they could answer my messages. Maybe you guys can tell them to answer my messages. Maybe, that would be cool. Someone from Belgium asked me something about some skate sports. <laughs> it's all good, yes. Uh, Jill, I'm still like getting used to saying your name. Sorry. Mm -mm -mm. Looks Dutch. Yeah, Dutch. Yeah, Dutch and Africans, it's very similar because the first man, the first white man. Is that it, Mo? Please correct me if I'm wrong. To get to South Africa were Dutch. And then the, that's why the Africans, it's like a mix of something that they started in South Africa, but I don't really know a lot. 
uh, uh, scratched lens, right? Poof, my scratch lens at the moment is completely scratched. It's not just one side anymore, extra scratches. So it's a bit too messy and it doesn't really feel right when I do videos with that. It, it just, it doesn't really feel right. That's about it. Um, I live on the border between Germany and Dutch. So I noticed that. <laughs> That's cool. Any idea on how to stretch some brand new sways? They're narrow for me. You're talking, Charles, uh, Leroy, 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 I don't know. Are you talking about the, the actual shell boot, the plastic, or is it the liner? Because by just changing the liner to something a lot slimmer, that would make you feel different. Also, some people, what they do is some people use a slimmer insole. The boots, let me show you something. This is not a sway. I could get a sway, let me get a sway. Give me a second. Let me get a sway. Yeah, probably what I'm saying, it's even going to work. Because check this out. If, if you look at this skate from the front, you will see that the lowest part of the skate, it's wider than the top, meaning that it's a bit like this. Obviously, I'm just exaggerating on the angle that I'm doing with my hands, but probably by taking off the insole, you would get lower on the skate, and by, get it, by getting lower on the skate, you'll get a little bit more space. This could be one technique, and it's used a lot of times, sometimes even by bringing your your heel higher, it's gonna change the place where your foot is in the skate and that can work. Then there's other things that you can do, obviously. You can measure from the, like the inside of the skate and put a piece of wood, put a piece of wood inside a skate and try to fit it in. You can do it even with a hammer, like from here to there. And while you're doing it, you're gonna use um, a, hair dryer just to get this boot a little bit softer. Don't burn it, please. But you just get it a little bit softer with the with, with the heat. You keep on like just using the heat dryer around this area. And then you actually bring something from wood or even metal, wood would probably be better, to open the space. That could be something that you can do just to create a little bit more space. Or I said this a couple of times in these videos, if you leave by any Ski shop, usually ski shops can do it for you. They have this type of mechanism. Don't ask me what it is that they put inside and with the heat, they can get your boots a bit wider. Some say, someone said, uh, Jill said, USD thrown inspiration. Yes, this boot actually started as a completely different thing. The Mo knows about it because we used to sell it at, at the Lino skate shop. We used to sell the Bronx, which was a, a skate from Power Slide, but not really from Power Slide. It was called from a brand called Play Life. Play Life, it's it was the the cheap brand from Power Slide that they now rebranded it to Power Slide One. Now instead of Play Life, you have the Power Slide One, which is the the basic of the basics from Power Slide. And with that skate, the Bronx was the previous Sway. It came out about the same time as the Sway 1. The Sway 1 was actually very good. Then what some people didn't like about the Sway 1 was that they had these non-removable cuffs. Then on the second one, they came with removable cuffs and I really loved it. There was the Montre skate, there was the, the, Mon the Team 2, the one which was black, with some white and gold details and I skated those skates for a long time and now it became the Zoom which is they also I think they still make the Zoom 1 Play Life Zoom 1 which is the one which is with the riveted frame but the Zoom is now the Bronx but with the new mold this is a, a this, I don't know, I don't really know if it's a whole new mold from scratch or if they actually just made some changes on the mold. But I believe that it might have been a whole new mold because the front, yes, the front looks a lot like the classic Tron. And I love that. I really love the looks. And I think it was very smart from them because people used to love the, the USD Tron and then 
that is it. Someone <laughs> they can read TikTok. Yes, man. That's some of the strategy of the stuff that needs to be done. Some of the stuff that needs to be done by me. Some of the stuff that needs to be done by my wife. And that wall, that's very strategized stuff. And there's a lot more. Some of the stuff stretch is what's done. There's a lot to be done. I, I wouldn't advise you guys to want to try understanding my life because at the time, in a 24 hours day, if I sleep five hours, it's a lot. And the other 19 hours, I try to spend as much as I can with my daughter, but I would say that I'm working around 16 to 17 hours, which yes, it's what I love to do, but a lot of people don't see that behind the camera. So it is what it is. It's all good. I love it still. Okay, is the Sway the best aggressive boot to mount big wheels? I don't know. I love, and I know that everyone loves the, the Sabre boots. The Sabre boots seem to be a very common boot for that. And also the other skirt that I have here, which I didn't make the review yet. Come on, helmet, wait a bit. <sighs> K2s. I didn't make the review yet. I did skate them a couple of times. You can see some marks and all that. These seem to be a very, very good UFS skate for big wheels. It's very stiff. And I did say it before too. Don't ask me why, don't ask me how, because that's supposed to be a soft boot. K2 is known for being soft boot and soft boots are known for being a lot of times flimsy. That's not at all like that. That's very, very stiff. Uh, rollerblade Fusion. Rollerblade Fusion is also a very good boot. Uh, I don't think they're making the Rollerblade Fusion anymore, but it's a UFS boot and it's a very sturdy plastic UFS boot. I really like I really like the the Fusion. Seba micro skates are made in the same factory, right? Yes, Seba owns the factory. Seba owns the factory. Micro is producing the skates in the same factory. Some of the models, some of the models in the future might be done in other places. Uh, let me see what else. Thanks. <laughs> Hi, Andrea. Where is Andrea? Is it? Hi, guys. Hi, Andrea. How are you doing, man? I think I might need to leave soon. It's close to five. I need to pick my daughter in school. And that was basically what I wanted to do today. I would like to go live with Mo and make this thing, but I don't have a way. Maybe I can. No, I can't. I would need to find a way to power my... <laughs> Let me try to find this. I would need to find a way to power my iPad. I don't think I have the stuff to power it here. Let me see. Maybe I can here. And then I would send a link to Mo. Give me a second, guys. I'm trying to find a way to do something here. If the iPad goes online, then we can do something. Let's see, hopefully I got it. Mo, are you still there? <laughs> are you still there, Mo? We're gonna try to do something. You better be there. <laughs> I don't know if this is going to work, guys. So basically there's this way of using a platform called StreamYard. And I would love to use the platform called StreamYard. Let me just check if Mo is there. Uh, what's up, it's not working. <laughs> this channel makes me feel good and shop task as well. Come on, Mo, come on. Say. Someone is saying, come on, Mo, let me, let me try to, okay. No more music for now, guys. Let me try to call Mo and do something here because he needs to come into this StreamYard platform. He just doesn't know it yet. I'll call him and we're gonna make this happen. Mo. Okay, Mo, you're here. I don't need to call you. Okay, I'm about to send you a link, Mo. Um, let's see, I'm gonna try to send you a link. And then you're gonna click on that link. You need to be to go on your phone. We're gonna try to do something here. I don't know how to do it, huh? I want to do it properly, but I don't know how I'm gonna do it. So guys, bear with me here. <laughs> What's up, Jonathan? How are you doing, man? Cheers to Berlin. I've been watching your stuff. I saw your crab uh, riding your like side stance riding the other day in those stairs. That was amazing. If you want to share that link here so that more people can watch it, that was very, very cool. 
So let me see. I'm okay. I uh, will try to share this with Mo. So how am I going to do this? Let me open this. Can you share it here, please? <laughs> Sorry, guys, bear with me. I'm trying to, to find this, which will hopefully work. I don't know if it will or not. So it's stream yard. Stream yard, get started, login. No, I just want to get started. So uh, uh, we can also use Zoom, right? Yeah, we can use Zoom, Mao. I'm, I'm about to send you. Let's do it with Zoom and then we can share. <laughs> oh, come on, man. These guys. Jill, I gave you the. Um... Okay, Jill is doing it. Awesome. Because Jill is one of the members and I gave him the authority in this channel. He became a. I don't know how to say it, man. He's one of those guys that he can control all this stuff. So sign up, join a meeting, uh, sign in. I don't know what I'm doing here. Continue. Okay. I'm gonna get Mo in here. Let me just see this. Sorry, guys, huh? Moderator. Yes, Mo, Mo knows it. <laughs> Start a meeting right now. I might need, okay, that is good. Now I'm gonna need to send this link to Mo. So I don't wanna share screen, I wanna invite someone. Sorry, guys, I'm trying to organize this stuff in a way that I'm gonna call using internet audio. Doom. Okay, how do I invite people for this? Copy. And I'm about to invite Mo. So, <laughs> Mo, you there? Let's see. Guys, I have no idea how this is gonna work because I don't have any headphones, so I don't know what is he gonna be doing, saying, or anything like that. I'm gonna put these headphones and I'm gonna hope for the best. <laughs> uh, we don't know how this is going to sound like, right? I might need to change the headphones. This is becoming all over the place, a bit all over the place. Sorry. Let me try to go here. And now I need to, I need to hear Mo. Otherwise, this is not going to work. Bluetooth on. For anyone who just joined now, I'm trying to speak with Mo. So. Mo, you on? Let's see. Uh, 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 zoom. Uh, uh, uh. Participants, admit Mo. Let's see. Mo? Come on, man. <laughs> He's joining. Booyah, Kacha. We got the same shirt. <laughs> Wait, I can't hear you yet. Can you hear me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How's everyone? Uh, yeah. Let's see. People are watching us. Let me see. You can read then. <laughs> That's cool. I'm happy that we are able to do this. Can you put your phone sideways? Are you using the phone? Let's put it sideways. It's going to rotate right away. No, just rotate it like that. So you have it like this? Yeah, yeah it's gonna go good. Uh, it's not working, leave it, go back to where it was. 
Uh, let me see. I, I might be able to switch to gallery view. Yeah, it's better or it's good. Guys, tell me how you want it to be. If anyone has any question to Mo, someone is saying that they can't hear Mo. Mm, Mo, they can't hear Mo, is that it? Okay. Can anyone hear Mo or not? If not, I'm gonna need to switch off my thing here. Give me a second. Give me a second, Mo. You're still there, you can hear me now. Okay, guys, sorry, I'm trying to sort this out. I think I might need to, to disconnect here. Let me see if I can hear you with the other headphone. This is a mess. <laughs> Mo, can you hear me? I cannot hear you, man. So I'm having a little bit of a problem here. How am I gonna listen to Mo? <laughs> okay, because Mo is through the headphones. Yeah, I think you're still on the other streams audio. Ah, that is it, someone is right. So let's do this. Guys, bear with me. This is too much stuff happening right now. I'm gonna be able to do it. Okay, power off, let me see now. Let's see. Mo, you still there? Mo, you still there, right? Okay. Can you guys hear Mo now? Please let me know if you can hear Mo. Let's see. I would love to see if people can hear Mo. All right, hear Mo. Let's see. No? Okay, so if they can't hear you now, we need to go. <laughs> this is a mess always, man. I'm always like that. I'm always that guy. Sorry, guys. Maybe now. Let's see, I should be able now. Mo? Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. I'm trying to do something here, but it's not on my side. No Mo, no for Mo. Oh, come on, man, Mo. <laughs> you there? <laughs> can you hear me? We can hear Mo. The biggest problem is that I lose audio, you know? I lose audio. We can hear and Mo. the thing that I have doesn't <laughs> allow me to connect audio. So how am I gonna do this? Does anyone have any idea? <laughs> you go, Mo. Can you guys hear Mo? We could hear it's him. It's working. Yeah, you guys can hear him. I just can't hear him. That's the problem. <laughs> Now the thing is, they can hear you. I can't hear you because I run out of battery on this thing. Man. It's oh, always the much. same. There's yeah, always a little thing. My little way. Yeah. yeah, you guys can hear both, but there's a little. Dude, come on! I'm gonna try. To... Oh my god! I'm gonna try to find a way to hear Mo. <laughs> I need to hear Mo, man. That's the way. Come oh on, Mo. God. I think that is it. I think now it's the way. <laughs> I got this little thing. You guys can transcribe. They say that they can do it for us, Mo. Okay, Sweet. we got it. I'm gonna be able to hear Mo. Let's see it. I can hear it, Mo. <laughs> nice. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, this is amazing. Okay. But how's my video quality though? Because I'm using my phone, it's real. It would be cool crafty. if you were sideways, but it, I, th I don't know why I can hear my voice twice. Sweet. Okay, firstly, let me let me let me first greet everybody that's that's actually with us in the live chat. Um, hello from Cape Town, South Africa, sending much love through this crazy pandemic time. I hope everybody's keeping well. Love you guys, man. Okay. 
So, um, yeah, so in Cape Town, South Africa, um, as you guys know, with this crazy pandemic, um, we've actually been, um, it's, it's been called a with national disaster. At, I think it was the 16th of March. And the whole country... To interrupt, yep. Mo. They were just... No sound. They were just saying that I had no sound, but I have sound now. So that's the thing. Sorry, guys. Uh, should be good now. Okay. Should be sound for everyone. So just go ahead and say what okay. you were saying. Basically, I was asking Mo if he wants to tell everyone what he's been up to, what he's been doing for a job lately, and where is he now with this crazy time. So, Mo, sorry, you can go back at it. No problem. Um, so on the 16th of March, the, our government, <laughs> our president has actually um, declared a, nation, a national disaster. No one can hear you, Mo. They actually <laughs> had... <laughs> no. Can you guys hear Mo now? I guess I can't. <laughs> I don't know what's up. Yeah, you, you probably can. So here's the thing, Mo. I'm going to talk. <laughs> And I'm going to wait for them to to tell me when I can make another question because I really can't hear. I'm sorry. It's my my I will say that. my monitor that should be my only way. So Mo can you can keep going and then we're going to rely on the we're going to rely on the on the on chat. The chat. Okay. Transcript. <laughs> <laughs> so um yeah, like I was saying, on the 16th of March, um, our government actually stated um, we're in a national disaster and the whole country went um, under lockdown. But at this present moment, we're actually going through five stages of lockdown where um, gradually, gradually some bans are being lifted, um, restaurants are being opened, takeaways are allowed and things like that. Um, about for the, for the third week now, or second week, we've actually been allowed to actually have some... Um, exercise time from 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. in the morning and obviously we need to go out um, to exercise but obviously wearing a face mask and things like that. Um, it's been kind of tight skating as you guys know I'm an inline downhill skater so I can't really go out to enjoy myself but I can obviously skate around the block and things of the sort. Um, what I've been doing for work at the moment um, obviously we can't really do much business from the skate shop itself, but I've been keeping, trying to keep proactive with the uh, social media and things like that. And I've also been helping Ricardo Lino um, get onto this real shop. So guys, watch this space. Can I get back on it? <laughs> Just make me a thumb, give me a thumbs up if I'm good. <laughs> okay, okay, next question. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I don't really know what you said because I can't hear it. I don't even know why I got the headphones. That's <laughs> <laughs> so we've been in contact a lot, but lately you haven't been skating that much. How's the scene in South Africa now? Are people allowed to skate? The ones that are allowed at what time, if, if they are allowed, at what time they can skate, or what's the actual situation with skating in South Africa, and where are you in this situation? So, firstly, um, like I mentioned before, that we are allowed to actually go outside for some exercise time in between the hours of 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. in the morning, but um, in South Africa, it's very hard because our government is, um, I don't still want to get political or anything like that, but our government is not really nice to each and every one of us. Um, the policing system is crazy. They're still harassing people, even though we are allowed to go outside for exercise time. And it's, it's actually crazy. I can't really skate um, as much as I would love to. And yeah, I'm basically most of my hours at home. So that's actually where I am with skating here. Yeah? It's quite sad. You good? <laughs> can You're I go good? ahead? Let me know when I can make a go question. Ahead. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mo, to finalize this quick uh, Zoom call, and we're going to get back at it and do something with more time later. What's the skate that we sell the most at the shop at the moment? 
at the moment, it's basically the or the micro MT plus is actually the most and what um, do you think of it? Affordable. Sorry. What is the scale? Yeah, yeah, I was going to go into which I heard, but what do you think of it? So at the moment, our best seller is the Micro MT Plus. It is a very amazing skate because um, it is obviously it's a full hard shell skate. The whole skate, what I personally love about it, it's a fully customizable skate. Um, the the possibilities of upgrading or changing parts on the skate is is it's basically endless. I feel not each and every part on the skate is universal. Obviously, where you can just take any cuff and pop it on there. But what people have been doing, especially you, Ricardo, you've been upgrading your the micro MT Plus. Like, there's no limitations to it. You can use it for a downhill skate, um, three by three tri skate. Obviously, that's what I wanted to say. Tri skates and also the normal four by eighty millimeter frame wheel setup. So the micro MT Plus is actually a very very good skate. I personally own one of them and I love it. I really love it. <laughs> Okay, and that is it. So I'm gonna go back to the main thing, Mo. And you want to say any last words for the people watching this? Yeah, um, please, guys. Um, let's keep our minds in the right place. Um, we we all know we're going through some crazy times, but um, obey lockdown rules. And if we all do that, we're gonna make it through this pandemic. And that's it, man. Just sending love to everyone who's here. Everybody's watching back to the mainstream <laughs> and that is it guys i'm actually very very happy for this i'm sorry about all the confusion it's always a ma uh, mission i don't know if you guys have an idea how this looks like I, it's it's hard for me to show you the type of thing that it's happening here right now i'm going to try to show you just for you to have an idea but it's usually a huge mass you can see there's the screen underneath the screen there's a little um Thing that I can use to change from one to the other. There's the thing here, then there's the iPad, and then there's the thing that died. <laughs> that thing, wait, that thing right there died, and that was the problem that I was having. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I tried to do something, I tried to integrate as much as I could you guys in this conversation and with Mo and showing the products and that is it. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you want to be, if you want to support this, I'm pretty sure that most of you guys watching this, it's because you're, you're subscribing to the channel. But if you, if you didn't press on that bell button, do it. If you feel like sharing these live stream, if you felt like there was any connection or anything, share it. It's, it's the way that this thing can grow. It's by sharing it on social media, by telling your friends whatever to watch it man if you skate if you're proud of it be proud i'm not telling you all to to pay for this or whatever you do whatever you want but it's i'm trying to grow skating if you want to come with me you know what to do other than that well i'm working on more more videos i'm actually i've been very busy like i just told you it feels like 24 hours of the day are not enough for me and because of that i've been looking for um for an editor which i think i found the editor for my videos and with that being said very soon there will be one of the videos that will be edited maybe a little bit differently but it's someone that i'm going to be paying to edit the video so this is just something i want this to grow i would love this maybe in the future to become a company and to be multiple people working on it so if you do wow caillou i just got caillou as a new member caillou bessa Thank you very, very much. Muito, muito obrigado, Caio. It means a lot to me. So if you want to be part of this, let me know, man. Today is, today is three people, actually four with Ruben. It's me, Mo, my wife, and Ruben, all of us working. There will be another guy, and this is only going to grow. I'm not planning on stopping this anytime soon. This is my passion. This is what I do. This is what I want to do. And I'm surrounded by people that want to do the same. And I'm able to support them one way or, one way or another because of all of you guys. So I just want to say thank you to all of you. And with that being said, I'm going to finish this video. So just like I always say, never, ever, ever forget why we all started skating. And that, I'm going to let you guys say why. <laughs> Cheers. And don't forget that. Let me stop the stream. Thank you, Caillou. Thank you to all my members and thank you for everyone for watching this today.
Cheers.